Um, Honourable Chairman of the Council of Ministers of Nepal, uh, Mr. Chairman, Honourable Ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am honoured and pleased to say a few words on the topic that has brought you together in uh, Kathmandu, sanitation. This is an issue that I feel very strongly about as UN Special Rapporteur on the Human Rights to Safe Drinking Water and Sanitation. Sadly, in the second decade of the 21st century, sanitation still lags seriously behind. While sanitation is recognized as a human right for everyone, um, despite all efforts, despite the campaigns, uh, despite the progress that has been made in South Asia, sanitation coverage here is still among the lowest in the world. Uh, and in many countries of the region, inequalities between those who have access to sanitation and those who don't uh, persists because of voluntary or involuntary systematic exclusion, stigmatization and discrimination. Lack of sanitation itself can be a human rights violation, but it simultaneously deprives people of other human rights, um, including education, health, work, participation, among others. Lack of sanitation is also, particularly for women and girls, um, a denial of privacy and of dignity. Open defecation is an extreme form of lack of sanitation. Um, goes hand in hand with extreme poverty and other forms of exclusion and marginalization. In many parts of South Asia, 95% or more of the poorest still practice open defecation. Um, in certain countries, data shows uh, the links between open defecation and lack of education. The practice of open defecation is an affront uh, to personal dignity and poses risks to girls and women. Communi communities where open defecation is most widely practiced are often also home to the highest numbers of under five child deaths, high levels of undernutrition, while parents are not inclined to send girls to schools uh, where there is no safe private toilets for them to use. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored and delighted to address Sakosan. The road of Sakosan from 2003 in Dhaka, Islamabad, Delhi, Colombo, and to today in Kathmandu demonstrates significant progress. I am encouraged by the commitment to an open defecation free region, renewed focus on marginalized groups, and hand washing, a shared monitoring framework for the region, and the progressive realization of the rights to water and sanitation while uh, eliminating inequalities. Particularly impressive is that South Asia has translated commitments into results. It has contributed more than any other region in the world to meeting the MDG target of reducing by half those who do not have uh, access to adequate sanitation. South Asia has also been a leader in innovative approaches to sanitation and hygiene, including CLTS school sanitation, inclusion of marginalized groups, and appropriate technologies. In 2009, I had the pleasure to visit Bangladesh on an official mission, precisely because I wanted to know CLTS at its place of birth. Uh, when in uh, uh, Dhaka, I had the honor uh, to be received by the Honorable Sheikh Hasina, the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, and I was inspired um, by her commitment um, regarding uh, sanitation and by her determination uh, uh, to putting an end not only to do def uh, open defecation but also to making sure that everybody in Bangladesh had access to sanitation in conditions of dignity. Bangladesh has managed to reduce open defecation uh, from 24 to 5% because it established a clear policy to focus its efforts on the reduction of open defecation and and target the most vulnerable and poor. The country is now seized with, us, with sustaining these achievements and increasing access to improved sanitation in the context of perennial flooding. Hence, this region demonstrates the importance of strong government leadership in achieving and sustaining improved sanitation at scale. India has made also remarkable pro progress in sanitation since 1990, with the proportion of people using improved and shared facilities in rural area rising from 10 to 34 percent, and in rural in urban area from 72 to 87 percent. The nation is also committed to streamlining delivery systems to create incentives for households to invest in sanitation and hygiene. Pakistan, on the other hand, has very interesting jurisprudence from its Supreme Court restating the human right to water uh, and affirming that in hilly areas where access to water is scarce, 
difficult or limited, the right to have water free from pollution and contamination is a right to life in itself. The right to have unpolluted water is a right of every person wherever he or she lives. End quote. Uh, he, um, um, furthermore, Pakistan has been highly innovative at the grassroots level and in working with vulnerable groups, including children and women. Having made significant progress in eradicating open defecation, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Maldives, the Maldives and Bhutan are grappling with sustaining these gains and addressing related challenges, including sustainable hygiene behavior change and waste management. Against great odds, Afghanistan has demonstrated its commitment to achieve ODF, open defecation uh, uh, freedom, and improve sanitation and hygiene in a post-conflict situation. Nepal has developed a master plan to achieve universal sanitation coverage by 2017. The plan seeks to unify stakeholders through the formation and mobilization of WASH coordination committed, committees in the central, regional, um, district, municipal and village levels. It also aims to fulfill resource gaps in the sector through cost sharing and resource pooling and co-funding arrangements at local levels. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies. In conclusion, let us commit now to realizing the human rights to sanitation, the human right to sanitation, including hygiene for all. Let us urgently, urgently put an end to open defecation and provide adequate sanitation, hygiene and safe water for all. So women and girls can live with dignity, so our children can survive and communities can thrive. I am committed and determined to energize action that will lead to results. I am calling on all actors to do their part. I call, I call on you, Excellencies, to include in the conference declaration a a clear reaffirmation of the human right to water and sanitation and of what it entails, namely that access must be, um, that access uh, to water, sanitation and hygiene must be affordable, they must be of quality, um, they must be culturally acceptable and they must be within reach and in sufficient quantities. B, a clear commitment to progressively eliminating inequalities inside your respective countries in access to sanitation, but also in the progressive elimination of open defecation. And finally, a commitment to end open defecation by 2025 with concrete plans, adequate funding and measurable milestones. What does this mean? This means that, again, um, it is crucial to have political will, a political vision to put these actions into place. And what we need is um, targeted measures that will focus the most vulnerable and the most um, discrimina uh, discriminated against people to lift them up. Without focusing on these people, we will never be able to achieve universal access to sanitation, a full elimination of open defecation uh, by the dates that we are committed to. So, uh, to finish, I would like to thank your host and the organizers of the 5th South Asia Conference on Sanitation, the Government of Nepal, for the opportunity to speak to you at the start of the event. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure. Thank you.